I think they should be banned from public places, yes. And places where there are children. They shouldn't be alive today. And my friends, I mean, there's guide dogs being attacked. They are, they are non-provocational. I actually saw one miniature dog's head bitten off by a staff. In this park. It just happens all the time in here. I mean, there are dog fighting in that ring over there the other week. Those sort of dogs. Up and down my road where I live is dogs off the lead all the time. And um, it has made him aggressive for two months. I never walked in this park again. This is why I carry this stick. It won't, it's not going to do much against pit bull, but it just makes me feel a bit better. I'll say, I'll say they're wrong, mainly because um, I feel like dogs ain't really dangerous. It's all about the way you bring them up. You know what I'm saying? If you bring them up right, you know, like they will do as you say. Yeah, it annoys me because you know. My girlfriend's um, pregnant and when she takes him out to the park um, she often has people coming up to her and having a go at her because um, he's off the lead and he's not vicious at all and that's from what they've been seeing on the news and reading in the papers and they're stereotyping him and what breed of dog he is. I think it's the way the owners bring him up basically, it's all to do with him because she's soft. He's, he's such a loving dog. Um, he loves children, he loves people. All he wants to do is lick people to death every time he's near someone. <laughs> My name is David Grant, I'm, the, I'm a veterinary surgeon and I'm the director of uh, this hospital, the RSPCA Harmsworth Hospital in uh, North London. The issue is that uh, Staffordshire Bull Terriers have been demonised. That's because they become a must-have fashion accessory. They're actually very nice dogs. Uh, they are difficult to make aggressive and they normally would not attack people or necessarily other dogs. So when they do become aggressive it's because the owner has made them that way. It's, it's the people it is. It's not the actual dog. It's how people control their dogs really and truly. So you get a lot of young boys, they'll get their dogs and they'll be on the estate, my dog's better than yours and then they'll get the dogs fighting and so on and then people see it, report it and and it does, it gives the dogs a bad name, it really does. People make their dogs vicious, like this dog is as soft as anything really and truly. And these owners are inadequate people who shouldn't have dogs in the first place and they are responsible for a lot of problems um, in the society around here and, and in this hospital. On a day-to-day -day basis we see a fair amount of cruelty and the cruelty comes into two areas. First of all there's the cruelty which is um, caused by people getting a dog on a whim and not knowing how to look after it properly. So then we see the animal gets diseases, it gets um, run over because it's allowed off the lead in traffic, it comes in with broken bones, that's almost a daily occurrence now. Uh, and we see uh, owners pretty much incapable of giving the dog a proper loving home and these dogs quite often get dumped kicked out on the street or dumped here or dumped down at the dog's own Battersea. And then there's the other uh, group of people who willfully encourage these dogs to be vicious, encourage them to fight with other dogs, encourage them to attack people, encourage them to assist them in crime. And that results in a different type of cruelty. It, invo it, inv it, it results in the dog suffering physical harm. And that's something we see quite a lot of here too. These are the result of organized, nasty, prolonged fighting between dogs until one of them is too weak and gives up or even dies. It's nothing to do with the breed, it's all to do with how people treat them and how they train them. And if people are treating them bad and making them fight well, they should be banned from having dogs, not the dogs being banned. You can't just keep banning breeds. What you've got to do, is somehow or other, is to prevent people who shouldn't have dogs having them in the first place and educating people that training them to be vicious is, is utter cruelty. <laughs> Most of these owners are, I'm afraid to say, drug dealers, knives, gun poachers, 
people, young people that have got on with bravado, that use them as guard dogs. I'm wearing a hoodie. I've got my dog. Is it attacking? Am I stealing? Am I taking drugs? The majority of people will claim that it's young people or youths that um, tend to use or treat or mistreat their dogs or use their dogs badly. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't think that's right. In my point of view, anybody, and like older people, younger people, anyone who has a dog can train their dog to be a, vic a vicious dog or a dangerous dog. They instantly look at your dog like and think that you're going to be doing dog fighting or the dog's going to be vicious that, like, but just don't pay no mind to them because we know obviously it ain't that we're doing, is it? We're just walking the dog or whatever. I haven't had anyone coming up saying anything, but you get looks and it's usually from the older generation. Not true, is it? You don't get young people rolling around with dogs that are bad. It could be an old man with his hood up and his dog still could be bad, you don't know. A little while ago, when I had my brother's dog, like, one old woman that like, started saying, like, move, put your dog on the leash sort of thing or she'll call the police. I said, why, like, we're in the park, the dog's come here to run about, like. She said, nah, that dog's vicious sort of thing. I just left my dog and said, call the police then, obviously, my dog ain't banned or nothing like that and my dog didn't do her nothing, he didn't bite her or start barking or nothing so she shouldn't have had no problem with it like. It's been biased isn't it, it's like it's your opinion, obviously to see someone in a hoodie or to see someone with a balaclava on or with a scarf or with something covering their mouth you would automatically think as your, that's, 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 that's the stereotype, the stereotypical, stereotypical image you get of that person to be a criminal because that's what you see in newspapers or hear on radio or see on the TV. The problems and the hysteria and the media stuff comes from a minority of people. Um, the actual numbers of bad dog owners that come here, you can probably say is 20 or 30. And many hundreds of people come here. It's annoying, isn't it? Because like, it's like they can't see their faults, but they can see ours. Obviously, it'll make you feel like, sad, upset, angry, because you're doing something that you're getting blamed for when it's not you. Then we're not going to end up caring and we will turn out to be useless. It's like anything, if someone's told, oh, you're rubbish at this or you're bad, or do you know what I mean? Then you're going to end up living up to that expectation because no one's not telling you, oh, you can do good, very, very. It's like if you've got all this negative energy around you, you're going to be a negative person, you're going to turn out badly. If the owner treats the dog nice, it'll be a nice dog. If you treat it aggressive, the dog's going to end up being aggressive. It's like a person. If you treat a person good, the person's going to be good back to you. If you treat a person bad, they're going to be on edge. They're going to be bad back to you. So I think there should be more. There should be more um, talk about it instead of just basically straight away claiming or saying it is someone or blaming someone for something and it wasn't actually them. Yeah. You don't know unless you ask a question, on it, or find out for yourself, basically. The real truth is problems in life are never as simple as we want them to be. But the answer is not to stereotype. Don't avoid the issue, but find the real problem. Long term as well, we try to educate people that getting a dog as a fashion accessory or as an extension of one's inadequate personality or for purposes of uh, intimidating people or for purposes of uh, defence, these are all very bad reasons for getting an animal doesn't benefit the animal in the long term, so it doesn't benefit the owner. And speak to people before believing what you read. can be your best friend really and he certainly is like really close to me and really good friend of mine.